All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United pre-season video. We're here at the lovely Basingstoke ground today. Uh, loads of people here. Um, and I'll be honest, if it wasn't for the loads of people that are here, we might have called this game off because we have been struggling with what we're calling the pingdemic. People getting pinged left, right and centre. We've got quite a few players with COVID, quite a few players having to isolate. Uh, last night, we only had 13 players for today. We managed to call in a few and up it to 15. Uh, but it's still a light squad for a pre-season game, so it's slightly concerning. I've got no idea if Basingstoke are in the same boat. They could well be. I've seen a lot of pre-season games for other teams be cancelled because of lack of availability because of COVID. Uh, we haven't done that yet. We've played every game we've had on the on the schedule, so we're proud of that. But obviously, missing a few. We're missing the likes of Gleedy, uh, Jake Lindsay, Carlos Flood scored a great goal last game, George Smith. Lots of players out. That's, not, that's only a few of them. Uh, we've got we've had some squad movement as well, as you know, so probably looking to sign a few more before the season starts, which Devs and I will mention in our squad update video. But we are here, we're ready for a good game. Massive test for the lads to get the match, and uh, hopefully they can entertain, entertain this, this fabulous crowd. Oh, one more thing as well. Today is the debut of the beautiful Hummel away shirt, which the lads are going to be wearing today. Looking forward to seeing in action. Let's see what they thought when they first saw the kit. That is looking good. Scan the QR code. Enter to win a console. Well, just get that QR code first. That's the bit that matters. But yeah, unbelievable. So the kits, look at that. Up the tags on the back. Badge, yeah. It's like Sick. a shopping channel, this. It's good. I love it, I love it. Look, it goes right through as well. Look at that. Right into the shorts. Yeah, I can't wait to wear this today. It's one of the best kits we've had, I think. Mate, I agree. I think it's one of our better kits. It's up there with the uh, purple and black eSports one, in my opinion, mate. Ooh. Very nice indeed. eSports fan, eSports kit fan. Yeah, that's, I think that's my favourite overall. Purple and black eSports, that's my favourite. And then second to this one. You haven't seen the new one? You haven't seen the new eSports kit? I haven't, no. And I'm, I've, I've heard rumours that that is up there as well, to be honest. It's, it's like, up there, mate. It's up there. I do like it a lot. I'm a big fan. I do like this, what are we calling it? The lightning bolt. Let's call it the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt from not only here but goes into the shorts. I'm a big fan of integrated kits. Big name, yeah. big word. Yeah, big word, integrated, right? Not just goes from here but down to the shorts. Love it. Stop moving! How are you? Devs, how are we looking today? Very light. Um, we've been hit by the uh, the the NHS ping, I think. It's cool. We've got a lot, lot missing. Uh, I think probably we're just about got en enough. We've, we've drafted in uh, Harry Hayson from the reserves. He's been doing well in the reserves. Um, we've got uh, Reese Rusher playing for us today to, to, to help us out. I think the FIFA guys may, may uh, be familiar with, with that name. Because uh, other than that, we were struggling to get a squad. But you know, we've we've got this game with Bays and Stoke, and they've sold tickets, and we really weren't uh, comfortable about not fulfilling the fixture. But it's uh, it's been been tough getting a, a team here today. It's there's a lot of teams are calling games off, aren't they, at the moment? And, and we try not to. We're doing our best not to. Uh, but it'll be opportunity, opportunity for a lot of the boys. And what do we know about this lot? Um, not much. Well, in terms of them as a club, you know, lots in terms of um, a, a big, big club that's fallen upon hard times in terms of ownership issues and, and losing their home, uh, which is, is really sad. Uh, been to been to the Camrose a few times, you know, as, as a player and a coach, and it's uh, a fantastic ground, and it's a crying shame that that they've lost it for, for, for reasons I understand beyond their, their control but they're now in the hands of the community um, are obviously doing brilliantly back on their feet play at the same level as us so it's the perfect test for us really we know we've now got a run of games against step four sides established step four sides which give us gives us a uh, gives good indication of where we're at despite you know despite the fact that we're nowhere near at, at full strength in terms of availability
Lovely little free kick from the man, the myth, the legend, Jesse Wallace, who's having a fine pre season so far. You're a right foot curler. Good start. You take it. You take it. Didn't last long the 1-0 lead, and to be fair, uh, they have been slightly on top of the game. Our goal was obviously a free kick, but they've had the ball in and around our goal, our goal a bit more. And uh, a shot from the right, bit of deflection on it for me. He's going on target anyway. Oh, they might score again here. Hang on, hang on. Well done, Danny Smith. Yeah, so uh, one all. Bench cam update, half time, the score is one all, which I would say. Uh, flatters us a little bit. We had the free kick, obviously. We haven't really troubled their goal with many more shots, whereas they have kept Jacko very busy. Uh, maybe to be expected, you know, as I mentioned, um, our squad is depleted, and the, I spoke to the Basingstoke chairman, fairly young chairman like myself, then a few months older than me, uh, and they haven't been depleted. It's just luck of the draw at the moment. I think some teams have had, you know, isolations and COVID cases, or maybe they haven't had them yet. We seem to be getting them all these last few weeks. Um, but yeah, I mean, the boys are out there, they're putting the effort in for sure. I'd like to see a few more uh, shots on goal, second half. We've only got three subs today. Um, I'm sure they'll be getting introduced at some point as well, but it could be a lot worse to be fair. This is one of the next, this friendly and the next three after before the season starts, all against other step four teams. So it's kind of like the real pre-season for me, where we play teams that are at our level and we get to test ourselves. And so far, we're level on score, probably not level on performance. The second half, sort of how the first half ended with them on top. They really amazing they haven't scored to be honest. But then we did come into the game a little bit, we had some chances. Um, made a couple changes now. Still one off. You can't say they don't deserve it. They've got a goal. Um, we should have cleared it really, didn't really get enough in the clearance and then it wasn't even that good a finish but I think Jacko is wrong footed. So it's 2-1 to, to Basingstoke and probably deserved. Okay, it is the end of the game. It was a very uh, well-deserved 2-1 win uh, for Basingstoke. Uh, just remind us, same level as us. I think they're one of the better teams at their level. I think I'm right in saying they were in the conference not too long ago at Basingstoke. So good side. Uh, they, to be honest, they probably could have scored four or five today. Uh, we didn't do a lot more than our goal. We did a little bit in the second half. But I'm not going to get on the boys' backs. We're missing uh, half a squad, if not more, to be honest. Lots of youngsters in there today. I think if you take Harry Honesty, and Jesse out of the picture, as well as Jacko in goal. The old, next oldest player was like 22. Then we had some 20 year olds, 19 year olds, 18 year olds out there. So it's a really good experience. It's what preseason's all about. We go again with more tests against uh, step four teams soon. Right, we're back at home now again. This is for game two of this episode, the final game of this episode. We are up against Chalfont St. Peter. Now they play the same level as us. I believe they're in the Ryman South division. I probably bottled like the pronunciation. Someone's gonna murder me in the comments. But hopefully this game should be a little bit more of an accurate representation of what football is like at our level that we're about to go into in this upcoming season. Hi Devs. Hello Mark. Um, why'd you call me that man? No one calls me that here. Wish you know. Wait, can we, can we slow down quickly? Wish you know. Stampy. What's your first name? Stampy. You see your name Stampy Stampy? Yeah. Stupid name. I'm going to call you Marcus. I hey, don't violate my mum like that. Come on. She took time. She took time <laughs> thinking that call name. You. What did your mum call you? Stampy. Your mum calls you Stampy? Yeah. <laughs> you tell you're lying. <laughs> How can you tell I'm lying? Your lips are moving. 
what? Because I'm speaking. Listen, what did your mum call you? Marcus. Thank you. Don't lie to me. Sorry. Also guys, last episode you would have seen us debut the brand new Hashtag United Hummel Awake It. Now I think it looks absolutely amazing. I've seen a prototype of it a while ago, but seeing it all in the flesh, full kit. I love how the little zigzag design goes from the shirt down to the shorts. Also you've got the same colour themed socks. Um, and you would have also seen as well recently on Instagram, probably with some creators that you're familiar with that um, they received some packages recently containing the new hashtag home shirt as well. We sent a few of those out. And also as well, I remember filming it over there, um, Spencer showing you guys the new hashtag leisure wear as well. Uh, so you can see this season, we're stepping it up a little bit. If you guys like what you see, make sure you head over to the brand new hashtag United website. It might also be here as well, the new little I button feature, but it will definitely be down in the description below. Check it out guys. See if you can get yourself some gear and be a part of the gang. Right, Paigey was moaning at us for God knows how long that we don't use his face in graphics, so his wish is our command. We've put him on the brand new match graphic that we're gonna be debuting from now on. You're gonna see these throughout the season. Uh, maybe a different color scheme as well for the away games, but this is currently what the team sheet's looking like for today. Uh, you've got your subs down here as well. Nice little picture of Paige. I think it looks nice. You can see the hashtags there on the home kit. I think it looks pretty decent. If you lot could say one thing to Toby right now after his antics in that villa, yeah, what would you say? Get out, man. No. <laughs> what would I say? I would say tone it down a bit, Toby. Just a little bit. You're right. happy though. I'm, I think he's enjoying himself. I think now he's kind of sabotaged himself as well. Like. I feel like he has to just kind of play this villain role now. He's, he's yeah, I like it, bro. He's on the cusp of it. I've think... been enjoying it, though. He's been, <laughs> he's been the vibe it? of the Thank whole, you. whole show this, this time. I'm going to tell him two things. It could be advice. Can I tell him two things? Yeah, of course you can. Because you're dead. Correct, deaf. yeah. Uh, first thing, I hope he never has a daughter. <laughs> Why? Why? What, because he's moving mad? <laughs> is he? Is that, what, is, that, is that the phrase? No, I'm going to use one of Paige's phrases. He's a little nasty. <laughs> Why are you saying it's Paige's phrase? Who knows? You've not seen Paige's Love Island commentary. Are you sure you didn't make that one up? Yeah? No, I definitely didn't make that up. I have one from, out, out of Paige's. Wait, say it one more time for me. No. One more time, please. <laughs> Keep going. Is that it? Keep going. Legend. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, legend. Keep going. Keep being horrible. Keep Wait, going. what? Horrible. Ballon d'Or coming in. <laughs> I'm, t I'm saying, uh, what's it, the Thanos Infinity Stones, bro, he's collecting them. And then when it's done, yeah, oh, I think, yeah, I think it's one more, and then he, do then he does this, isn't it? Then he does this, look. Oh, this guy's happy, fam. Oh, shit, stop doing that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that can stop Toby now are the Avengers. See, the Infinity Stones, yeah? That's what I said. I like that, <laughs> I, like, I like that. He's on my wavelength, yeah, yeah. I like that. You are the GOAT. That's what I'd say to him. The way he's carried the villa on his back. That's all I have to say. Undisputed heavyweight, heavyweight. champion. Give him a statue or sign outside the villa. No, oh, put it outside Bow Stadium, mate. He needs two then. One yes. here and one outside the villa because he's been carrying. Bringing drama as well. Makes good television, isn't it? He is good television, yeah. And he's the only one that's doing it. I'm proud of you, you know. He started a very stiff, I can't lie. But yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah. He's had some Glad. good reception from the I think the he's club, doing well. So. He's the GOAT, man. Like, he's literally been the villain. And then when he went to Casamore, it's like, man, that's my time. Three ways, you kiss you. And now he's like, look, the temperature has been taken off of me. So, I don't know, I'm enjoying it. But one thing I will say is that looking after his socials with some of his friends, is like we've seen the narrative go and the, the energy, people hate him. Now they love him, he's the best. He could win, he could probably fluke a win. Yeah. Who knows, man? If he wins, does he keep, does he keep or split the 50K? If I, if I was him, I'd be the biggest villain of Love Island's history, Hall of Famer, steal the money. How about you, Fazzle? I just hope he gives me a couple, a couple of tennis, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he's struggling, in my opinion. I bet everyone else has been bigging him up, but I don't like the way he's acting. Wow, you, just, you got that spot on. Everyone's everyone's picking up. No, see, I'm not I'm not into that. I think I think I rather like li don't get me started on Liam, but like snaking girls, man, it's, it's not about that. I like the loyal ones. Oh, he's just called out his teammate. That is a true teammate, got, right exactly. there. That's a true. But not teammate. in the level Hugo did, right? I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that.
little live update here. We've got a drinks break right now. How is it out on the field? It's all right. It's a bit hot, which is why we're having a drinks break. But I think we're kind of on top of them, but we're still just struggling with our final decision on the final ball. And that's why we're not getting in, but chances are coming. Done the famous ball roll, but this time he chopped it up on his left foot, right back, gone for it, and actually cut to the floor. And then across in the box, we got a header, but came to nothing, and they cleared it. But Jesse, that was naughty. Right, Jay, half time. Yeah, nil nil, the nil nil at half time. Um, I think we was actually the, the, the aggressor. We, we was a bit of the aggressor. We was on the front foot. Uh, we were playing quite well actually, to be fair. Um, the Bell's picking up the ball in midfield, playing it side to side. Um, Harry's getting in behind, same as Kojo. Hopefully, we can just get a goal in the second half and actually win the game. Come on, hashtag. Basically, what happened was Pages made an amazing save. Everyone switched off and relying on Pages to just make a double seven. Can't even speak right now because this snicker's amazing. But basically, they scored. Sponsor me! Sponsor me! <laughs> We had a corner up our end, uh, broke to the number 10 I think, and uh, right at the other end of the pitch in about 15 seconds and uh, tucked away neatly into the right hand corner, 2-0, not great, not great mate. <laughs> Right then, who's throwing handbags? What's going on here then? I, uh, I was having a conversation with someone on the side now and I hear the whistle being blown about 900 times. And now something's happened. What's going on here? Everyone just needs to relax. Everyone needs to relax, boys. We're in a pre-season game, man. Come on. minutes left but it's been a good game. I think we played really well today. I think the result might not uh, suit the show that what's actually happening out there to be honest. But most of the ball maybe lacks creativity, getting chances, but other than that I think we've been a better team. Greg Dog. How was your run out mate? You look like you're sweating quite a bit, put in the work. Hard uh, pre-season defense is like all defenders just found all the time so I get away with it more. Good run out though mate. Yeah, it's good. It's good to get 65 after a uh, while well isolating. But yeah, shame about the result. But we just lacked a bit of end product in the final third. 
But hopefully that will come. We've got a couple more days before the season starts and just got to go from there, really. Ten yards over the bar. Oh, cool. I hope, we, I hope we missed from about oh, three honestly, yards out. Oh my god! <laughs> How is that going on? <laughs> How is this just started out absolutely nowhere, by the way? Oh, where are we? The sun was out. In the first if that fight didn't happen, we'd all be inside by now. <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to be it for this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, not the best game in terms of result, but I think we're definitely on the up come the back end of pre-season. Not uh, the worst performance in the world. Definitely see some positive signs and we've got a lot to look forward to. We've got um, some new faces coming around the club, which again, you will see that very shortly in a squad update video will be uploading very, very, very shortly. But this is gonna be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash a like. Remember guys, get involved. Um, become a member. This is the last game we're going to be streaming since so this is our last home pre-season game. But come the start of the season, obviously we'll be streaming all of our home games. So make sure you subscribe down below, become a hashtag United member. We've also got new merch as well. Uh, we've got the leisure wear as well as the home and away kits from Hummel. Beautiful stuff. Check it out down in the description down below. Like, subscribe if you've enjoyed and obviously do not forget to hashtag it. It's good to be back. Thank mm -hmm. you.